So I was online paying my bills today and I was on the Comcast website trying to see how much I owe for cable and internet. And my, my attention was drawn to this, this line here that says what's trending on the web. And it says Shania Twain is trending, Jonathan Strange, Fitbit, and Surface Pro 3 were trending. So my first reaction to that was that those seem like pretty pop culture centric um, topics and commercial topics. And so, you know, I was just skeptical about, you know, how Xfinity or Comcast determines what's trending. So I wanted to switch over to Twitter really quickly just to get a contrast of, you know, what my Twitter feed says is trending. When I did that, what I was interested to see was this. Yeah, I saw this hashtag, teaching racism is trending. And so, of course, I explored it a little bit. I wanted to see what kind of images and tweets were, were rolling through that hashtag. And, and I was kind of curious if there was something going on, you know, some event in a large city in the U.S. that would be prompting this to be trending. I mean, obviously, I know that, you know, issues of race and racism have been dominant in the news. But this specific hashtag, especially because it's education specific, struck my attention. So as I click through, you know, I, I click through first this tag, and then I even remarked, I went back to my home. And because I follow so many people who are interested in educational technology, you know, I can sort of see that what's probably trending in my thread is ISTE, and those Ignite talks are going on. I guess the idea that this wasn't trending, that ISTE, I guess the idea that ISTE itself wasn't trending as a hashtag, but teaching racism is trending as a hashtag, made me wonder, is this concept of racism and white supremacy and cultural inequity, is that trending for everyone except educators? Or is that something that's trending for us? in our interests, and in our passions, and then in our professional learning.